Okay. So, hey guys, hello, so everyone. we're here with the first game from Group D. We have Orange against Dan Sifka. It will be a great game. It Trust us. Be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to it. And they have the same decks. Yeah, so Orange, at least the classes. Orange has we don't know about it. Shaman and Warlock as the San Dan Stan Sifka and they've both banned each other's warriors. Yes. Seems so very mirrored at the yeah, moment. Well, well, we don't know the archetypes of the classes yet. But yeah, but I hope for a 2-2 two -two and then deciding game because it's already close, so I, I prefer a very close game. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it more exciting, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh. So. so, when you have the Druid, Shaman, Warlock... Okay, so they're both okay. queuing into we're the first we're game. We're getting now. in. It'd be interesting to see what they both start with if they have the same three classes. Oh. So it's Druid against Warlock. Okay, so we have Stan Sifka's Druid against Orange's... Zood, like... Well, looks like a very aggressive zoo right now. Yeah, extremely. Double with soul double Soulfire. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's Zelay, not was playing, Zelay was playing earlier and he was running a, uh, like a super aggressive zoo that had double Soulfire with like double Doom Guard, double Argent Horse Rider. So it might be something similar. Might be. To that. And we see Cthun, oh. Druid from Stan Sifka. Well, this will be an interesting matchup. And it's it's, good it's all about the druid being able to get to it, but with this hand, he should be able. Oh. Wow. He might get That's away. very interesting. Dropping the wrath? To be fair, he's been pretty rewarded. I mean, he's been rewarded with the ramp, which is exactly... Again, yeah. so what you're really looking for is the ramp, right? You're looking for your wild growth, you innovate. This is just looking really, really good for Stan Sifka. So... Well, Orange. He plays wrath guard as well. Oh. Yeah, this looks very similar to uh, Zelay's list earlier. Zelay wasn't running... He was running... He wasn't running Count Summon, and he wasn't running... Uh, Forbidden Ritual. Okay, so he just cut that whole combo because... Um, I guess there is swipes in the Ruid and removals in Warrior. They just get removed and stuff. <laughs> okay, so would you go with the Living Roots into the Voidwalker here? Hmm... I guess you still do it. It, it kind of absorbs some damage. Like, I mean there is reason maybe, okay, you hold it onto it, next turn you ramp, you play a 4 drop, then you can 4 drop. I guess I would hold on to it. Yeah, I mean, because it, it's not really achieving anything. Yeah, it's, it's not doing thing. anything, and if um, in two turns, afterwards, the turn to you ramp, or there you can even ramp coin, um, do do the removal, and if he has like a knife juggler or a free 2, yeah, he can just yeah, exactly. instantly get rid of it. Exactly, yeah. I'd be surprised if he played the living roots here. Especially with the sure. coin, it just like he can he can decide it to play it maybe next turn or the turn after the coin will just allow it every time. <laughs> okay. But at the same time against Zoo, like oh wow, he's going for the coin wild growth. Okay. So he has the option of living roots here upon next turn. I guess he's aiming for something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, against Zoo, sometimes you can't afford to play slow, slow. Like, sometimes if you play slow, you can get really punished, but I'm not sure. True. I'm not sure about the. Okay. Now, the, the Wrath Guard is just. Oh. I guess here he will just then. Because nothing else achieves anything except playing the 2 drop, and yeah. uh, then the only thing is if he chooses to get the 2 1 ones, but uh, they are pretty good because the next turn you can use them to kill the taunt. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a 2 1 as well if he has something like that. <laughs> but then if he trades the Wrath Guard into the 2 3, then it, it, it's going to be the same as before, where the Void Walker is just going to kill the 2 1 1s essentially. For that's, that's true, but he yeah. never wants to really use Wrath Guard for trading. It's more like you just want to go face. If you're running this kind of list, you just want to go face. And he has now 3 mana, and he will just play all of his 1 drops, I expect. And he will use the Void Walker to kill the 2 3, I think. And then. He can go four damage to face, have another taunt, have another one one, uh, next turn mm, Argus. You make yourself very vulnerable to swipe though if you do like like you've got the the druid's turn four coming up. That's true. Or four mana but next turn. Can you really play around with that like about those things? Uh, like, I mean it's definitely something you've got to take into consideration. You have to. He, like he's if you probably just go doing all out and, and don't play around swipe and then just you can just get so punished. That is true. I mean he okay. So he's going for the trade into the 2 3. Yeah. Then he, he just drops all Thunderous because not doing it doesn't make any okay. sense at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, true. Because, yeah, like he had a 
has the go face, he has the bigger so he opens him yeah. up for like well, a good I mean, swipe, swipe on the been, yeah. yeah on the four three. Uh, of eight, okay. I guess it doesn't do really anything. No, this but now he right. has used the two buffs for Cthulhu, so now if he the uh, the Amber Weaver will be a four ten when he plays it now. Yes, that is true. But I think he is really wanting to top take some big tone like Ancient of Four, so he yeah. can na next yeah. turn top take Ancient of Four. I mean, the right Ancient of Four. It's not a bad start, like for the the Druid. Like sometimes the Druid can just get rolled by the Zoo, but yeah, this Argus is gonna gonna hurt. This will be really painful. My shield for two okay, yeah, like yeah. this trade to two one to the four two. Yeah. <laughs> and now even swipe is not that great. It only would remove the four three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I uh, need Disciple of Cthulhu. I mean, you can go like Amber Weaver innovate Disciple of Cthulhu. It's very like all out. It might, like he needs then to really you, think you about to, his deck list. You have to play the four ten this turn, right? There's no way you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. he he needs to think about his deck list. How many cards that he could draw possibly compared to other cards that the innovate would be ne required next turn. Yeah, he yeah. needs to be okay. I play Ancient of Force. And if it's the only seven drops and higher, yeah. maybe a rank. Twin Emperor is another yeah. one. Like, if you find Twin Emperor and wasn't, wasn't able to. Okay. Yeah, he will go so for it. I mean, this is. I think this is fine. Like, you want to kind of get yeah, rid yeah. of the Zeus damage, especially when he's a super Indeed. aggressive Zoo with double soul fires. So. I agree with this play. This is. It seems like the only, only thing that he could do because he really needs to yeah, neg he's negate this damage. Very much relying on his next draw, though. Indeed. Okay, so what's he looking for here? Oh. I guess he will go for like power of whelming just for the finishing damage, I would assume. Hmm. Like the Seems extra the one one or a one two doesn't really do that much. For that one one to be same as the power or whelming, it will need to attack four times the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if yeah, if, if he plays a big taunt, you're gonna want the PO to yeah, exactly. deal with it. Because he's considering if he wants to kill the 2 1 or not. Is he ignoring it? He's no. going face. He's just going for it. Fair enough. Okay. That's not the best draw. Yeah, indeed. So I guess he'll I mean, just. With the PO in hand, Orange has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Orange is getting close to threatening lethal here. Um. I really don't know why he didn't kill the 4-3. Um, if he kills it by himself, yeah. it's the same as it attacking to his face. Yeah. So if he would attack it with his hero power removed, then the 4-3 is gone. Maybe he wants to get the Divine Shield off, but I don't know really why. Crazy uh, argument. I mean, that's obviously really strong against the, the Amber Weaver, but... Yeah, does, I think he, he, wanna, he wants he, to hit face, right? He yeah, he, <laughs> he doesn't. I don't think he cares enough about removing a guy without yeah, taunt. Yeah, exactly. I think he will just keep it in his hand yeah. till um, uh, maybe he top takes an ancient of four or yeah. another big taunt, and then he really oh, wants to. That is not oh, what I wanted to see. That's really. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to be the game, unfortunately. Yeah. It was really just not the top deck he was <laughs> looking for. So that's game one going to Orange's zoo. Aggressive zoo. Very aggressive, yeah, aggressive zoo. zoo. The double sulfide is definitely an interesting. And there is a brand as well. For what combos he, he, he will have brand? Just yeah. just for like Ar like Argus would stack. I mean like Argus, it. Dark and, uh, Abusives. Yeah. I think there's definitely enough stuff. Okay. Like six or seven. We're not sure if he played like Dark Hand or Th that's true. Like that. Yeah. So, okay. One o two. So what will he pick Orange's in his? Zoo. Orange has Stanskifka has the Shaman and Warlock left. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting what he picks. It could be Shaman, I think. Yeah, he, yeah. he goes with the Shaman. We don't know what kind of Shaman it is yet, but uh, we're about to find out. <laughs> oh, that looks like a control. <laughs> it looks like a really control controlled. Shaman, and I'm. I'm that's very happy to see this. That's great. We saw Frodan earlier went six and zero with his control shaman list, which is that's absolutely nuts. So um, it'd be interesting to see if how Stan Sivka's list list, list differs, uh, or how it will perform. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. I think he might be very relying on it to beat the Zoo deck. 
We see the we see the Wrath Guard in the starting hand there. And abusive. This looks like already a great hand from Zoo. Oh my! <laughs> That's a yog. That's a yog. That that <laughs> is a yog. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to see. Wow. <laughs> That's, I approve that deck. Yeah, list. I, 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 I approve, approve already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm just starting hand. He has the the Void Walker. He has the option to coin Wrathguard. Hmm. Like coin Wrathguard is not something that you usually want to really do against Shaman because he will, on average, have a removal either a Lightning Bolt or a Rock Biter for it. Yeah. But. But then at but the same the time, the Void Walker would be so weak to a yeah, potential Tome Golem. Void Walker does nothing. Yeah, and a difficult one. If he chooses, then White Walker abuse as well is not anything good. Uh, I mean, he could do some like crazy stuff where if he plays the Void Walker and into the Totem Golem, he can, like, can like crazy Alchemist abusive. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. is really hilarious. But um, I guess he's doing it. And if he plays just a Tunnel Truck, he can just abusive kill it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But of course, it's not the deck what he expects. Yeah. I think as soon as he sees, well, as soon as he sees the far side, that's sure. There's some some aggressive, shameless. Oh, he goes for the tome. Okay, interesting. So he still allows himself to use, be able to use the far side next turn. That's that's interesting. Now, if you're, oh, so Orange goes for the Wrath Guard. I guess that will call for a lightning, lightning bolt still okay, or some crackle. So I mean, is he going to go for the removal, or is he going to go for the card draw? The Stormcrack Lightning Bolt? No, yes. Like, he does have the... Okay. Yeah, Hero Power Lightning Bolt, I would expect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not because really worried about the Void Walker, to be fair. You yeah, just kill the not enough. Mm. But uh, the four damage is quite threatening. Sure. Yeah. He still has enough money to be able to far sight next turn if he wants to. Mm-hmm. Or he can, yeah. If he's playing, well, I'm assuming he's playing Ellie Destruction. It's just purely just one of the best cards against against Zoo, especially with the Lava Shock. Like if he's able to find yes. a Ellie Destruction with this Lava Shock in hand, it could just be devastating. I would expect he would use a Stormcrack here on the two four. I mean, he really yeah. doesn't want to take a chance for yeah. like what you see in his hand, like exactly, Defender yeah, exactly. of Argus and Abusive Surgeon. <laughs> that would that would be so destroying. Yeah, it'd be very brave to go for anything other than the Stormcrack here. I feel. Indeed. I mean, we don't yet know what Stan Sivka has in his deck. Like, if, if he has the Earth Elementals and the... Yeah, it's completely unknown. Yeah. It, it might be some kind of... Oh, okay. Oh, he, will he, he does have an Lava Shock and... Yeah, so for full removal. Interesting. Mm. Okay. I actually kind of proved it. It's... Uh, <laughs> There was something that he maybe want to keep for next turn for like uh, drawing cards and dying it then. Yeah. But I can see how he wants to play around uh, a one drop coin defender of Argus on both yeah, or yeah. something like that. The Lava Shock is so huge though because if you have so many overload cards like the Ancestor Knowledge, maybe Earth Element yeah. or Ellie Destruction, the Lava Shock is huge. So it's yeah. quite bold to use it just on a Void Walker. Indeed. Okay, so we have... <laughs> Stone Tusk Boar. Oh. Well, he can guess maybe his opponent runs some Murlocs. <laughs> <laughs> so we have. Which is he going to remove this spell? Okay, yeah, he gets some okay. spell damage. Hex. That Hex can be come in handy when that Doom Guard hits the board. Last night into Frost Shock. Wow. Okay. Huh. Yog Shaman. I love it. <laughs> just, just looking right. Yeah. I mean, if he had still had the, if he had traded in the healing term instead, he would have had the spell damage up to maybe frost frost shock a a, a two two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he has not mana for the emperor next turn there. Oh, so does he? Kind of Argus play. I guess he was playing around lightning storm, just with not buffing the boar for an extra sure. damage to face. Yeah. He was just, uh, if he bust the boar, he could run with boar in and then go face. But then he, he doesn't play around the lightning star, what could have been his yeah, opponent's yeah, hand. Yeah. Okay, he drops the emperor. Okay. So Yogi's now 9 mana. Sure, that's that's sure. just the only counter what yeah. matters. 
It'll be interesting to see how long Orange holds onto this Doom God for. Is he going to like play all his, play the rest of his hand, and maybe play the Doom God next turn? Like I really he could think go full aggressive here, like, and go yeah, flaming, he, abusive, and Doom God. Yeah, like I really like this play. Just go all in and yeah. I mean, the, the abusive, you can abusive a three-three trade off the Emperor. Yeah, and then you have flaming Doom God and just full face. Like you're not really that and and even there's elemental destruction alone wouldn't kill yeah, the Doom exactly, God. Yeah, he would yeah. need to combo with another card, but it would be quite punishing. I don't know how much he wants to play around the mental destruction and how much time he really wants to give his opponent to yeah. even get more stuff. Okay, he's going for the more safe, safe More safe play. plays, yes. So I guess he will go for the free drop and the abusive. Yeah. Most likely. I mean, he could or coin he Argus, potentially. That is true. Plays around Lightning Storm a bit more. Okay. Yes. I think he's going to drop the... Mm-hmm. Now we just watch. Okay, puts him down to sixteen. What will Sansifka do about this? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Oh. This is a Drake, interesting. He he can always take a draw for possibly <laughs> getting back to full yeah, HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean he could he has one mana draw two cards. He could use the ancestral knowledge to try and find some kind of AoE. Maybe he'd prefer the Azur Drake to contest the board a bit. That's yeah. interesting. Thing is, if you Azur Drake, there's no way you're going to be able to use AoE this turn. No, no. Then uh, if he plays Azur Drake, uh, Azur Drake I, I would expect he would just heal his face yeah. and go yeah, for yeah. the uh, poss possible full health. Oh, that's oh, that, that could be huge. That could be ridiculous. But he doesn't really have any spells to combine with it right now. He needs to find something like a, like a Storm or an Ellie Destruction or something like that. Indeed. I, I mean, maybe at this stage you would, you'd save the Frost Shock for next turn to use with the Halazeal. Mm -hmm. yeah, th that's pretty good for him. He just goes back to full health. Yeah. <laughs> Winning the Joust is pretty huge. Th that's really huge. I mean, you'd expect to, if, you, if you're playing, it seems like it's a shame deck with lots of high, high mana mm -hmm. minions, you would yeah. expect to win the Joust. Yeah, it's it's um, and now, now it's a gr great decision for Orange if he now goes all in because his opponent is at full health and um, it's it's a clock for him. He needs to win a f uh, quite fast because otherwise his opponent will outvalue him. There is in long game there is no possible win protection yeah. that I can see for Orange. He needs to go play fast, needs to play strong, and just kill his opponent as fast as he can. Because the more time he gives to his opponent to find answers, uh, the worse it will get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if he does, you if he doesn't pick up a AOE here, if he use, uh, uses the ancestral knowledge, he wouldn't be able to combine the uh, the Halazeal with the Ellie Destruction or Lightning Storm. But yeah. that Imp Gang boss, would you consider hexing that here? Because if he hexes the Imp Gang boss, he could get really punished by the Doom God next turn. But he has the Frost Shock. So he could uh, delay it for one more yeah, turn to yeah. get possibly some answers. Goes for the knowledge. No Mish. Huh. No Mish looks kind of like the play, yeah? Yeah. And then just try to get oh, the answers. Elemental. Okay, okay. Oh, he goes for the Hex? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, like you say, he, does have the, he does have the Frost Shock. Yeah, for, for one turn. I wouldn't be surprised if he even Lightning Bolts the Free Free. Just uh, because at the moment he is not holding any AOE removals yeah. and uh, he cannot count on drawing them. So removing a free free, if you do not expect uh, re getting the removal, it's yeah, yeah, uh, like not it. that bad. And he goes for it. He's just thinking about the Frost Shock and he's going for Ooh. it. He's, he's Ooh, just okay. completely going for yeah, it. I mean, it. I mean, in this position it doesn't look that bad. But Yeah, if he expects to play something like an Earth Elemental next turn, then yeah. I can completely see why he would do it. And he may be expected from his opponent, if he had the Doomguard, he would already play it. Yeah, and yeah, then there yeah, is yeah. no reason to hold on to it. This Doomguard could really punish him here, though. Indeed. That's completely ignoring the no mission. <laughs> Going full face. <laughs> he has a tone for that yeah, no mission. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a stone that's, there. That's something. He can play the five drops. Oh. No, he can't. He has to go for like storm, heal his face. The thing is, because if you play the earth elemental, then you don't. You can't Halazeal storm next turn. 
because you're going to be overloaded for three. This is a tough one, actually. Like, like I don't know. It's 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 a really interesting turn what he will choose to go for. Oh, wow. Okay. Just hero or this turn. I mean, if he can get yeah. the Palazil with the Lightning Storm, it's just that's huge. A, that's a huge so that's swing. Pretty much what he's going for here. Yeah. He's uh, basically just this turn's going to be pretty weak, but next next turn's going to be insane. It's not that weak. Like he negates a. a yeah, some I mean, fourteen damage. Almost, that's almost to again. <laughs> um, <laughs> does the next turn damage what his opponent can do on board? He he didn't even attack. Didn't he's attack the turn. He's really signaling an AOE yeah, yeah. removal with the five drop because that at not attacking. Yeah, that's for the extra heal, right? Yeah, the the extra heal. that's just for extra heal. It was a very hard signal, and I'm not yeah. sure but if then he wanted no, to yeah, do there's it. There's no way Orange can really play. I mean, I mean, even if Orange knows, like, there's not really any way of playing around it here. Is he there should be like a red button blinking, <laughs> like warning, <laughs> warning. He just didn't kill the lightning convoy. storm incoming. Yeah, for no reason, really. <laughs> like, okay. Well, here we go. Yeah, with the place he was making, I would expect oh, okay. him to go for it definitely. Question is, will he go for the tome or will he go for the knowledge? Ooh, I don't know if he wants to be overloaded next turn that much, because then he would be overloaded for four. Yeah. But, he but what's the turn really doing for you? Like, you're going to heal to full anyway. I guess if he would roll his spell port out, he would have <laughs> a guaranteed kill on the 2-3. And more damage on the 5-7. It and it's... Okay. Uh, oh, gets he got the, it. Gets the spell damage. That's, that's what he was looking for. Yeah. So he's guaranteed to kill the Argus. And extra damage on the yeah, Doom Guard. Exactly. It's, it's really not bad. And extra hell, I guess. Yeah. Back to full. Feels good, man. Yeah. Feels very good. I really want him to not to overload himself so he can play the Yogg. Yeah, I want to see the Yogg. It just never happens because he's always <laughs> overloaded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, again, Zui, you want to play the safe. Like, you, of the, course. The, the, the 7 8 taunt is going to be huge. So Indeed. I can't see him not playing that next turn. No. Okay, so we have the Wrath Guard. And he was even forced to remove that. That's extra pressure. And now, he, look, it's, it's not even. Normally, in this situation, when Zoo's. Zoo's just life tapping and looking for lethal. Normally the uh, opposition will be really low on health, but because yeah. of the, the the healing wave and the Palazil, like yeah, they're also Dunskip healing king god. still on twenty four health, which is huge. So now it's it. interesting what he decides to go for. Yeah, he I mean could go for lightning storm. It guaranteed removes everything but Doom Guard, and he takes a flip on the Doom Guard. So yeah. if he wins the coin flip. He's complete board wipe, and he and wins he gets it. it. Wow, that's great for him. <laughs> And the four damage to face, and that. <sighs> and next turn he's overloaded for four, but uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he doesn't can just matter, play like a five six, drop or yeah. six drop, and it just looks great. Control Shaman coming through strong. Oh, feels good, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy that he's yeah, winning. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. Yeah, okay. it's just yeah, nothing. The That's nothing is. to compare to play what he will be making next okay. turn. Well, he has the Lava Shock, so he can now play the... Yeah, okay, he just goes for the Silver and fair enough. I just hope he still plays Yogg next turn. Huh. It's it's completely not the correct play. <laughs> it cannot be the correct <laughs> play. There is no chance of it, of but I hope he still would. <laughs> okay, yeah, nothing really. Yorange getting just oh, one drops here, not really helping out that much at all. It is not it. Praise Yogg! <laughs> wow, he has the double, the double no. 7 8 taunts. Is he has, huge he's, there. he's playing a turn, yeah, he has yeah. to go for the double fives. Yeah, I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, it's how is Zoo ever going to get through that? There is no chance. Yeah. <laughs> he finds a Doom Guard, but it's not going to be enough. <laughs> no. So Stan Sifu games t takes game two with yeah. so it's one one now one one and, <laughs> and now it's Shaman. interesting what he will go for the counter yeah. like control what shaman coming through strong so that was yeah orange's warlock we have the druid and the shaman druid shaman what does he even pick for it yeah exactly like, I mean, it could druid be, it is could probably be another control like, shaman we don't <laughs> like, <laughs> we look don't at know. this the druid is probably too slow for it if he's not running a super fast version of it and even it is the fast versions usually spawn board but his opponent can easily clear them with lightning storms or elemental distractions um, it might be a Shaman Mirror, and who wins the Shaman Mirror wins the, the <laughs> would, whole I would, series. I would love to see a Control Shaman Mirror. It's, I have never seen a Control Shaman Mirror. <laughs> like, th that's... 
We'll see now. The Q&A okay. game two. So, so what does he pick? It's, it's a shaman it's mirror. A shaman I mean, mirror. Who wins is the mirror might win the game. Is it going to be face, mid-range like, like, mid or control, though? We have no idea. Oh, that's a face one. Yeah, it looks like an aggressive shaman. Sure. So he has Tunnel Trog and a Flame Tongue and a Rock Biter. I would, uh, seeing those cards, I would expect it to be quite <laughs> aggressive. Drops the Flame Tongue. Oh, no, oh, it's more mid-range. Mid-range. Okay, this yeah. could be interesting. This is more mid-range. Yeah. I mean, he, he kind of knows that the opponent's playing Control Shaman. He's not yeah. going to need the Flame Tongue to trade into a potential Tunnel Trog or anything like that. So. What? But in this matchup, I'm really thinking that the Control Shaman would be favored. Because the, the mid-range shaman relies a lot on his board, on getting the totems, to buffing the totems. Yeah, yeah. But, but at the same time, things so like, waves. oh, the turn on the top deck was very nice. Yeah. For orange there. But at the same time, uh, something like an earth elemental is extremely vulnerable to a hex. You play yeah. earth elemental, gets hexed. That's it, a huge it, Yeah, that's just that yeah. huge. Stormcrack answers the turn golem. Okay, so he has a flame juggler and the tunnel truck. Chops the juggler. Yeah, juggler. Another thing is the lightning the storm in Orange's hand is going to be most likely pretty useless this matchup. So does he crackle this one as well? That's quite interesting. He has. Mm. You can't play the. If you overload, you can't play the gnomish. How, how much do you want to play the gnomish next turn? Like, but again, it's like, do you want to use. Like you, you might want to be yeah, like he goes for hero power. He might be going for higher just AOV removal. removal value. Like yeah. just playing some hero powers. Yeah. Also, if he plays like we don't know yet if he plays thing from below. Yeah. Um. What do we do? Yeah. Oh, he can just take some time. He's just yellow flooding the board, but we can see the early destruction in oh. Stan's hand here. Is he going to go for it? Or is he going to... Yeah, he goes for the No, no he's, he's even sensible. waiting more. Oh, the Lava Shock! That's it's ridiculous! Huge. Wow! That is so huge. He has the if he didn't draw the Lava Shock, he'd hit Ellie Destruction and would have... Like an empty tour. Yeah, yeah, empty, empty turn. turn. But now, now, now it's he can just... Exactly. Nothing. No punish. Play the it's it's three element. mana board wipe and yeah, play a two drop and then it's no punish huge. at all. The flame Wow! I would expect him to go for it. It's just too good. It's Look at this board. You see two cards in your opponent's hand. I think yeah. you, you have to go for it, right? And you have no punish next turn. You just do it now, and it's... I think it'd be a... Wow. Maybe a harder decision if you didn't have the Lava Shock, but I think with the Lava Shock... Yeah, with the Lava the Shock, it's just... And, and in his opponent has three cards, pretty much on the board, and two totems. Yeah. And the value is there. Uh, plus, you're not really looking for that much of value because you know you have higher, way higher value than him. Yeah. And he is at the moment holding only two cards. And I would really expect him to play it. Oh, okay. So we see the Thunder Bluff. Mm. Like, if his board, if Orange, if Orange's board gets cleared here, what is he looking for? Like, he really needs something to just flood the board again, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goes with the toe. No. Oh, this is. Wow. He's just removing okay, that. This is bold. This is bold. This is this is basically saying, "Oh, I don't have. Wow. I don't have AOE hand." Or he's just not afraid at the moment of the five damage. Maybe. After this, it's yeah. only five damage on the field theoretically. Yeah. If he does uh, tunnel troll, he doesn't get buffed. But at he's the same time, if he plays the, this is interesting. Orange is he going to have the flame juggle hero power? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he goes with the flame juggle hero power. Because he actually might have been really considering the two cards that his opponent is holding. Yeah. Because maybe he was thinking like. Uh, his opponent expects him to wipe his board, so he's holding on to these cards, and the moment he wipes the board, he would play these two cards and get the board of 8 damage, maybe, or something like that, back, yeah. just instantly. Yeah, I mean, but now, now from Stan holding on to the Elite Destruction means that this this incoming Elite Destruction, very likely, is going to be even bigger than it would have been before. Oh, and there's another one, wow. Yes. <sighs> I mean, he's, he's uh, but now especially when you have the second one in hand, I don't see why wouldn't he uh, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Just Ellie, yeah, destruction, and then Lava it. Shock face. Yeah. But he's basically just got slightly more value out of the Ellie destruction. He's killed an extra term and the. Uh, he just got the, the totem, uh, but he used the removal for the flame tongue. Yeah, yeah. So it's true, the true. the same value but extra totem, but he take an extra damage. I think it was really mm. about that. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, he can actually play the Lava Shock and... Uh, yeah, he can do Lava Shock and Earth early next turn. There is a lot 
That was probably good answer, because if it got the uh, spell damage turn, then the Love Shock would have been 3 damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another Love Shock. <laughs> wow. I would excite him to just Love Shock the Totem uh, and uh, play the Earth I Elemental. Think so, yeah. I mean, the Earth Alley can contest the Thunder Bluff really well. Because it's really annoying, because you... you in Orange's position, Orange really wants to, the Thunder strong. Bluff to, to, to stay alive for as long as possible mm -hmm. so he can get as much value out of it with his turns. The next turn he can might but just yeah, attack it and exactly, lower shock yeah. it, then that's it. So this just looks great. Oh man, oh, it might destroy. be it's it might be another it. free all for the control shower. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, will it again happen? Like this. It's so crazy how like well it's doing. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's mainly. C I mean, so far Orange's decks have both been super aggressive, like Zoo and Agro Shaman, and so it can just get extremely punished by the yes. the AOEs of the like, AOEs and, and, and the, the big taunts. taunts. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And he is like even like I mean, that must, it's clearly what he's aiming to counter. He's like, oh, I'm bringing the Control Shaman. I'm going to destroy oh, Agro with all these big this AOEs and taunts and heals, yeah. like. Like, this is like great. He can even yeah, draw cards first, then Lava Shock the Totem, and it just. Yeah. He has uh, now four mana. He can even play a Nomish, yeah. Wow. And just. Yeah. Okay. This well, at least Orange's Lightning Storm might get some value now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not close enough, and th 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 this is just looking like a one game. Like. Like, I, I look at Sansif, can he just like crossing off his opponent's deck? Like, <laughs> I got his shaman out That's already. True. Like, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's, it's not remotely enough. He Interesting no that he didn't. Um, he had the option of rock firing his his face and trading in, and then trading the 1 1 into the uh, the 2 1 Nomish. It goes for the saving himself 7 mm. health. Yeah. Really yeah. Yes, sure. His opponent draws one card, he has hand of cards and the five five Shit. already on board. He can draw with Farsight for two mana. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's and that. one one. It's wow. The okay. control shaman, huh? Yes, Dan Sifka goes two one up yeah. with the control shaman. Control Yog Shaman. Yes, control and Yog all Shaman. Orange left, has left is his druid. And he, I mean, he didn't kind of already want to pick it. Because he knows that he is uh, druid. Like, I expected as well to not be that great against him. If, if it's token, the AOE punishes. If it's slower decks, then, like, um, just the Hex can punish him or the big taunts as well. Yeah. I, I really. Control Shaman coming through strong man. I, wow. I really expect this being Maligos another as well. This, that, like, it that. This wow. Yog. Malikos, Sylvanas, so Earth Elementals, like it's... I guess the Farsight's combo with it. Yeah, yeah oh, for sure, yeah, it's for just sure. Like, you have a load of high mana costing minions, and if you get one of them Farsighted, you can just this put them out a lot earlier. Like, combining a Malikos with a potential AoE is just <laughs> a ridiculous Actually, thought. this doesn't look that bad, I think, for Orange, because he's actually playing Katoon Druid, so and Katoon, Katoon Druid has a... Mm, like some chance of a villain as well because yeah. uh, he plays this uh, mid range. I really minions. like this play by Orange. He, he, yeah. he notices that he has the full jumping sand and then he can still wild growth next yep. turn. He's being super aggressive. He realizes like, I'm not going to win the long game. No, here. I he need has to, to go so aggressive. Yeah. He has to go aggressive, very aggressive. He needs to get his opponent low enough. His opponent not having the heal cards. Then he just plays oh, uh, Katoon and draw. just kills. He's able to innovate out the, uh, four, the Arakoa yeah. next turn. That, that's just amazing, that's really. really and his okay. opponent doesn't have a hex at the moment in hand for uh, for any answer to that. Mm, so the far side into the no. no. Okay. Okay. So it's I mean still he, not he, he's hex. probably like a, able to just play that next turn. I've expected him to just drop. play the six drop and just go for it. <sighs> I really like it. And and his opponent doesn't have a hex at the moment and if he doesn't get it then it's then it really can be over fast just to beat him down. Oh, Storm, okay. But he does have a heal, so that could yeah, play a big yeah. role. Like, no mission. And he can take another draw. Uh, if he gets the hex, it's free. Healing wave, okay. Oh, but he has two heals. Yeah. Like, if he gets them both, it's. He <laughs> wins both flips, sure. it's 28 healing. So. Maybe the druid is just not capable of doing that damage. 
So it looks like Orange is going to go with the Raven Adol here. Yeah. <coughs> I, I really think it's the first one. They, but I, in his place, I would actually pick the minion. Because you just want... Oh, he goes for the spell, right? Yeah. It's very interesting. I, I would actually gone for the minion just to get a like a four drop or something to have have to play because I don't see how I see what you're saying, but then at the same time the spell you're always gonna get a class card and generally class yeah, yeah. cards are stronger yes. than Okay, so it's the two marks or the claw. I mean he doesn't have any beasts on board, so you'd assume the the taunt would be Oh, okay. Interesting. So he doesn't want doesn't, to get the taunt. He doesn't want it to get the taunt. Well, I guess, I guess it's just him. Yeah, he wow. just doesn't want the 2-4 uh, to be able to proc it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, true. He, he values the bubble so high. Yeah, yeah. That's an interesting decision. And Stan Sifka doesn't really have an obvious way of dealing with this. He does have the zero mana healing wave. Which yeah, is that's... Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> third, right? Zero stuff. mana, 14 health <laughs> yeah. this turn. And then it's just, what does he... Does he so go for he the 7? He, he could potentially uh, drop the Earth Element, oh, I mean, with... Yeah, Earth. The, like the 6 mana Divine Shield, though, is really painful. Especially yeah, if he, he, that's he can't even pop the shield, because... The, the yeah, yeah the like, uh, the Divine Shield really needs to make him yeah. think about it. Because then if the Druid has just 2 damage, it's... Yeah, exactly. And with, yeah, it's which, he does, which he does yeah. have in the Disciple it, of Cthulhu, yeah. He, he just couldn't take that risk. Okay, so he's going for the Azure Drink. Ooh... So he can just decide to remove the Azer Drake completely this turn yeah. from hand and then just go face again. So 11 damage more through. Okay, here's it. Oh. 7 drop next turn. Stun Oh, oh it now it's interesting. Does he maybe decide to go just for like Lightning Storm Elemental Destruction and completely block his next turn, but to remove the minions already existing? That That is a possible play he could yeah, go for. I, 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 because what else is he I mean, really going to play? He sees one card in Orange's hand, he's thinking, oh, he, maybe he can't put that much pressure on me yeah. if I pass a turn. But like, what else is he really doing at the moment if he's not doing that play? Like, oh, I mean, he could trade and use one of the AoEs. Or he just... I really don't know. He might just go for the two. Uh, oh, this, yeah, this is interesting because now the he can go either for a healer or another lightning storm. And he can but still like, disruption here. If he lightning storms, he can next turn heal, yeah, but okay, I don't see. Yeah. I mean, it was fine trading the no mission because it would have died to the early destruction yeah, anyway. Anyway. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, <gasps> he goes for oh, that Oh no! Oh, I love it! I love it! But he knows That's he knows that Stan Sikka has zero mana, so he yes. knows that he can't get punished. Yeah, there turn, is like. no punish for that. Wow, that is... Wow. That is balls, but it's... But it, it was great. Yeah. It was really yeah. well played. Oh, damn. And now, and it's now Stan Sikka is in a really awkward spot. I mean, he has the heal on the taunt he could potentially go for. But he really, really wants to remove this 10-5, right? Because he, he doesn't want the 10-5 to just be able to but remove the... He could go for something like... Oh, it, it involves flips, right? Like, he could go yeah, for exactly. Lightning Storm, like Lightning Storm uh, Lava Shock, and Heal Phase. Yeah, but then but he it's a coin flip. On hitting three on the, the like, he five. really needs to consider if he has to hit that coin flip. He needs yeah. to think, if I do not coin flip, win this flip now, can yeah. I still win the game? Yeah. He needs to be really, really considering that. Because it might be not possible if he doesn't. I mean, maybe you are forced to play the Torn. Even though the 10-5 the is going to remove it really easily. Or the, the Arakoa combined with something. Yeah. But you really need the heal. He, he, he will play the heal. He will. Need, exactly. And he will play the heal. And then I think he should first play the heal. See yeah. if he rolls for 14. If he doesn't, I would see him going for the flip. Oh, okay, so he wins. So now I can yeah, really okay. see him going for the taunt. Yeah. I think it was correct. To, if you win the flip, you just go for the taunt because yeah. then it's you, you should have enough high health not to get wrecked. And but if you lose it, you c I think you have to go for the flip. Yeah, if yeah. you heal only for seven, you have to go for this flip because you're only at thirteen health. It's not enough. Uh, and then yeah, I would I would do that. Okay, goes for the swipe. Top draws the Cthulhu's chosen. So now he can and no uh, no heal or taunt in. No, now he can go. I would really expect him to go first the lightning the storm. storm yeah, if he rolls high, shot. he can go remove both with the lava shocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he rolls low, he just has to remove the 10 5. Um, he could go first for Cardo, I guess. It, 
it should, uh, yeah, it works. Um, like both lava shocks, card draw, and the yeah, lightning I mean, storm. Yeah, I mean, if you are gonna use, uh, is nine mana, so he could first draw the cards, then use uh, lava shock, then lightning storm, then lava shock again. Yeah, he's yeah, not yeah, overloaded. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He recognizes that goes for the draw first. Okay. Yep. Nothing. He and then I would expect him to go for the play, just lava shock, lightning storm, and then see if the ten five dies. Really hope for it because sure. then you can remove the board fully, and you don't get punished by top taking just four damage and yeah. getting wrecked. This is a big, Ooh, big moment, big here. and he gets yes, the three he damage. Gets it. He wow. gets the three damage. This is and now really it's a full board wipe, and next turn he's not overloaded at all. He can uh, play oh, taunts and, and stuff. Doesn't even have anything to wreck. No, it's just a blank card. Wow. Ooh, I would expect him to use some taunts. Maybe he really needs to think about how defensively he wants to play. But uh, yeah, I mean, you have options here. You have the I emperor I to would reduce would everything. Uh, you could yolo yog. You have the mullet man. I would Gosh, probably just play very, very defensively and play the taunts. Yeah, but I, I would uh, just play yog. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <yes. laughs> <laughs> Look, Yog is the perfect heal uh, card. It will kill your opponent, heal your face, and spawn yeah. full board well, of minions for the you. The thing with this, he knows he's used both his lava shocks. So you know, if he goes for the earth elemental as well, okay, it goes for the emperor. Okay. Okay, how much damage? Cthune is pretty big. Cthune is... It's pretty it's big. Cthune? It's like a 16, 14, 14, or 16, 16. It's pretty big. Okay, Ooh. nourish. Yeah, I guess you start by nourishing. You just have to. He would really like that card last turn. Sure, sure. <laughs> Just one turn too late. Whoa. I mean, he Ooh. could even charge face here, put him to four. He only like used he one swipe, right? He's only used one swipe, yeah. So, I really he think... And he has the living well. roots. I really expect this. Both heals are gone. The charge face is the correct play, because he can even draw next turn for swipe or the second one. Yeah. So, he can get three cards. Even more, he can wrap for the... I really think the amount of card of he his in hand. It, yeah, he goes for it. Yeah, I yeah. like this for sure. For sure. Th this is definitely the play that I would be looking for. And now we're just like, what does he decide to go? He has a kind of tall top now. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard because, like, if you were on high health, I think you'd be happy dropping the Maligos. But right now on four no, health, no, no, you're no, thinking, he I want this taunt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I need this like, taunt. He could really get punished now with the charge to the face that he didn't play the taunt last yeah, turn. Yeah. Like, I would have been playing, like, that scared and very scared and just played it last turn. I mean, you could taunt, you could maybe storm crack that. Like, maybe you want to save the lightning bolt in your hand to combine with Maligos for a potential lethal. Uh, in the next couple of turns, yeah, he goes. Lightning walls, yeah, the lightning walls definitely keep. Yeah. Um. Okay, four health, living roots in hand. Yeah, he has uh, very many draws. He's play. Oh my God, Yog, Yog in no. Cthulhu Druid. That's very. I would still expect him to go for draws. At it should be higher odds. He has two draws. I he has one. He has. 12 cards in the deck, he has yeah. 4 so that's 3 draws. 13 damage on board. Um, okay, two yeah, he's cards going for the draw. Extra, extra value from. I mean, if he yeah. finds Living Roots, it's lethal. We've living seen. Roots or Swipe? Both, yeah. Oh, he finds the Living Roots? And both, he finds both Whoa. of them. Swipe and Living Roots. Game 4 going to Orange. That was so a really that was a really tight game. So it's 2 2. And the control shame gets taken what? down. <laughs> oh, I guess he got punished for not playing defensive enough there. With yeah. not playing the taunt uh, yeah, I one really turn like before. Orange's, uh, like realization that he had to go face yes, at that stage. Yes, the to. charging. Because the charging there is no other way him. he can really win. He just has to kill his yeah. opponent. Also, and the now, uproot. Uproot. Yeah, was oh, bold, the uproot was that carry. Players that won orange the game Without there. that uproot, he wouldn't have the damage to kill his opponent. Yeah. It, it was the winning play to uproot there. And so now, final game. It's yes, two all. And it's we two two. We have Drew exactly what I was looking for. Stan Sifka's Warlock. Oh. So it's Cthune Yog Druid against, against Zoo. Zoo. So I would I guess it's generally Zoo's favoured. Generally, yes. Generally. The wild growth in Orange's hand yes, is pretty huge. Yes, that's already great. Pretty huge. Let's let's see if the I mean, druid can it's handle like it. Zoo, Zoo is favoured, like if Cthune Druid if the Druid ever has a so slow start, they often just lose. Yeah, if, if you don't get yeah. rams exactly. or wild yeah. growth, but, I mean, it's just no hand. chance. He even have the li have the living. Oh, yeah, he has he can make uh, turn one, two, one ones, then ram. He has yeah, this is and just the looking like the hand what can yeah, deal with Zoo. Exactly, exactly. The, in from Orange's perspective, that's almost the perfect hand. Like he yeah, would like something th th for this four. is they just what he wants. After the wild growth, but yeah. 
Okay, from Stan Sivka's perspective, he has lots of options. He has the Flame Imp, the Possessed Villagers. Opt for oh. just the one Possessed Villager. He okay. wants maybe to get two jugglers yeah, next to I mean, yeah, really the Juggler. Really play the, the Flame Imp will just die to the, yeah, to the You don't really want to play no, the Flame Imp. No reason to do it. And what does he pick? So he'll just remove it, ram, and then it's already what he wants. He'll be hitting turn 4 with Zo. It's not having any. Councilman, I mean, coin councilman's potentially a consideration. He could just drop Ooh. the juggler, he could play the two one drops. I really like coining the free drop. Yeah. You can you can guarantee the buff in next turn for two. You can do even knife juggler plus one drop something. If you but at don't the same time, do it, if you're expecting like against Kuntuju, what are you expecting on turn four? You're expecting the Kuntuju's chosen. Yes. Or uh, Amber Weaver. That's true. Um, so it's four damage minions. Yeah, but the divine shield. You would just ignore it. You would play a knife juggler and take a flip, maybe. <laughs> just go. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. I don't know. He goes with the flame imp. Just double okay, one goes with the two one drops. Yeah, this is okay. And then he is uh, opening up that he can next turn do like uh, coin four drop, maybe. He yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a, yeah, possibility. Like well. Yeah, yeah. Actually, has the option of coin dwarf. Oh yeah. Now he will. I would. Hmm. Yeah, that, that one drop extra draw, draw was really yeah, great. Yeah. And he has the five drop I guess you just play well. the free drop and run in to the two one. Yeah, I guess. And next turn you can uh, take maybe a knife juggler coin zero drop for yeah, uh, free juggles. Yeah, the knife juggler is a bit of a nice combo to have. Like, it will give you free juggles and maybe about the one five if you have to move it. But I, mean, uh, but I would expect the charge into it. Yeah, exactly. The like, charge is going to be huge here. Yeah. Like, there is no reason to taunt. Taunting it is worse than instant removing yeah, I mean, it because, because you get punished. You just, you just want to remove the cancel. Yeah, it, it is just so much better. Yeah, it goes with the removal. Yeah, just full removal. So everything has a 4 tool left. And from Stan Sifka's perspective here, he wants some juggles. It, it's a coin flip. If he goes for the free juggles, it's a coin flip to remove the 4 tool. Let's see if he goes for that coin flip. Hmm. I mean, what, what you you have to, right? Like yeah. You can't play the 4 drop, you have to play. Yeah, I, mean, I, you I could, think you could potentially just use like play the Forbidden Ritual. He can, he can go for a juggle coin 0 drop. It, ooh. Oh, he's playing both the jugglers. Oh, okay, I know what he was probably thinking. If I hit the juggle when I play my juggler, I will coin out the zero for two more juggles. Yeah. And then I have uh, very good odds to kill it, 75% afterwards. And if I don't hit it, I will just end turn. That that might have been a play what he was okay. thinking about. So we see the Nourish, we see the... No, I, I guess he would just play the four drop and hero power. Really, like uh, drawing the cards is uh, maybe not as great as uh, just playing a four two with divine shield. Um, hmm. I mean, against Zoo, you often do want to make the tempo. But then he has this, he's yeah. almost definitely going to be. I, yeah. But I guess he, um, he might be considering very uh, to that he needs to cycle for swipe. He might yeah. be like, maybe next turn I have to get swipe. If I do yeah. not get swipe, I will lose the game. Yeah. And uh, in that scenario, it's correct to draw. Will he play the abusive here? Yeah, that'd be interesting. Because yeah. you, you, I mean, you have just, to expect full big face. taunts coming out. But yeah, full face is the yeah. place. <laughs> face is the place. Hmm, so yeah. Orange has the option of Ancient of War. He could Wrath and Druid of the Claw. <sighs> I mean, how much do you want to remove that knife juggler? I would be saying a lot, but <laughs> I know my. I see his opponent's hand. Yeah. <laughs> so if uh, I would be like, oh yeah, he's holding this <laughs> this card right there, the forbidding yeah. ritual. Yeah, of course I want to make the four six taunt and rav. Yeah. But uh, let's see if he actually does it. Where shall I start? Goes for the charge. Wow. Oh. He really wanted to kill that nerf juggler. Interesting. That's actually very interesting. So I guess this was the better play. As possible. Yeah. And then he doesn't give his opponent like power overwhelming value. Yeah. yeah. Because then the two one is gone and he cannot power overwhelming run in. I really like that play. That was really really good play. So he has another. Would you? Would you coin? Do you have a coin? I I think. I would have traded a coin for extra one. Yeah, one. I think so. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you're like. Maybe he wants you to don't do have it next time. In a zoo, you don't have any like, time and a custom cards left. Yeah, it's. 
Even if his board gets wiped and he just plays it next turn, it would still yeah. summon him seven of them. So, I don't know. I would have preferred the extra 1-1. One, one. Pio is gonna help. He's missing one he's damage. still looking like a rough spot for Stansis. No, no, two damage, I'm sorry. It's two damage missing. I was like... Ah, Good five, PA. yeah. Five damage minion, but yeah. <laughs> Would you play the Forbidden Ritual here? Do you have to go full all out, or would you, or would you hold it for next turn and be like, oh, I'm going to get more I value out of it next turn? I feel like you just have to go for it, right? You just have to coin. Yeah, yeah. I would just yolo at this point because you're, he's so far behind. His opponent's still at 16 health. He's at nine mana. You're so far behind that I think you just have to yolo there. Just, yeah. just play it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So another big taunt comes out from Orange and the Wrath. Wow. Yeah, I like going the face there to just uh, put the zoo on even harder clock. Yeah. Oh, Doom God is something, but yeah, it's I mean it's a good it's draw. It's something. Yeah, I mean it's what you were looking for, right? Yeah, and coin into Soulfire, <laughs> like yeah. like I mean, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's happen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still a one drop though. It's it's still gonna help out here. Yeah, he he will remove pressure. that and. I guess I would run in the Doomguard into 510 yeah, because you still have to remove it yeah. eventually. And then just play a 1, yeah. But Druid is still looking in the right position. He can just yeah. wrap the 5 He could now. just yellow Yogg. <laughs> he could just play Yogg. <laughs> he could. I really <laughs> doubt that he would. Um, I, I think. Oh, the Mulch. The Mulch would have been. If he hadn't traded him with the Doomguard, the that, Mulch that would have been devastating, yeah. Ridiculous. But now the Wrath will be devastating. You can still innovate Yogg! <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> no, it gets with the sensible play, gets yeah. with the Wrath trade. Probably Hero Power, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four draw. And this just looks so, so bad for the Zoo deck. Oh, damn. Yep, I mean, that's. This just should be the end of that. We'll see what Stansiv can, can draw, if you can draw anything to help him out here. It's Attempt something. Like, if you could found another Doom Guard. Councilman isn't really doing enough here. But he'll still have to play both free drops. You, you know, like, it's it's probably not doing enough, but it's nothing you can do about it. You just have to play. Yeah. yeah. And there's, there's the swipe. The and that is the game. And Orange so takes the series three games to two. I, I guess the... The Druid prevailed at the end. Yeah, I mean, it was a the really, really close games, series. Yeah. I mean, the, the Shaman deck did really well. For, yeah, for it was, it was, good, it was really, really done well. But then the Druid deck the came, Druid deck came back. That was, a really, that was a really enjoyable series, actually. Yes, it like, was really great. Really close. And, uh, down to the wire. I, I really liked it. Uh, um, yeah, I some don't interesting know. decks as well. Like, I, I really like Druid, Druid, but at the same time, this Shaman deck was so great. I <laughs> yeah, wanted to see it go free all. Yeah, the Shaman deck was really something. Okay, well, um, that's the first game of round, uh, Group D, and um, the next game will be coming soon. Yes.